What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sneaky Sneaks, back with a new video. Happy Friday to everybody out there. I hope you guys are having a good one. All right, today, I'm going to do a review on the Air Jordan 5 Burgundies. I just got these in a couple of days ago. I got these off the Nike app. Uh, these were on sale. I got these on sale. They were like 168 The regular retail price was like 225 and, you know, I was kind of you know, hoping that the price will go down because I wanted to grab these. You know, I think this is a really dope shoe. And uh, the price went down to uh, 168 I actually had a couple of coupons. My birthday is this month, this weekend. Um, it's actually on Sunday. And I had like a 10% off uh, coupon from Nike and also an extra 25%. So I used that. And the price came down to 168 and I, I felt like that was a pretty decent price. Uh, just happy to have these in the collection. I think this is the best five to release this year. And the quality on these is really good. You got that nice new buck suede, that nice burgundy suede. You got your... Your graphite laces. You got your, your graphite jump man on the back. These are really dope, man. Here's a look at the box. I did get these in a the size nine and a half. The official color on these is deep burgundy graphite. So pretty nice box. But this sneaker uh, originally released in 2006. And this is the first retro of this shoe. So 20, uh, 20, 2006, that was like maybe 17 years ago. So this is uh, the first time we've got this sneaker since 06. But there's a look at the medial side. You got your all burgundy midsole. You got your clear netting. You got your air unit. You got your nice clear translucent sole with the jump man there. You got your Jordan. Right there on the bottom. The quality on this shoe is very nice. Very nice quality. You got your uh, your gray graphite on the inside of the shoe. Let me see what the color of the Jumpman is. I can't tell what color the Jumpman is. I think it's a black Jumpman. Yeah, but these are nice, man. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other shoe real quick. There's a look at the other shoe, both shoes. These are dope. I highly recommend this shoe if you're uh, into Jordan 5s and you like Jordan 5s. Uh, this is one to have in your collection. These are really dope, man. You got your lace lock right there. You got your lace, uh, lace lock holder here and you got your gray lace lock right there. You got your burgundy jump man on the tongue, on that reflective tongue. But yeah, these are really nice, man. The Air Jordan 5 is a classic silhouette. You know, I like the uh, the gray shark teeth right here with the burgundy speckles. It's just a, a classic silhouette, man. It debuted back in 1990. And it's, it's just classic. 
Really dope sneaker. The materials look very nice on this shoe. Uh, I can see why they raised the price to $225, but I just wasn't, you know, willing to pay that much. So I'm glad that I got these on sale. But I have some uh I have some other Jordan 5s in my collection that I want to share with you guys real quick. I got the uh the J Horizons. This is another nice colorway, nice fall colorway. Like these two colorways here are very good for the fall. You know, these are some some nice fall colors. But yeah, these are the, the Jade Horizons. These came out last year. Very dope shoe. I like the uh the vintage yellowing on the shoe. It really looks good. But yeah, these are nice, man. Also, I have the Air Jordan 5 Racer Blue. These came out last year also. These came out early last year. Uh, these sold out. These sold out really fast when they came out, and I was surprised. But uh, the quality on this shoe is nice. You got that thick suede, that thick black suede. These are really nice, man. I got my uh I got the Air Jordan 5 alternate Bel Airs. These released back in 2021, I believe. And this is the alternate version. They had a another version of the Bel Airs where the upper was gray. Uh pretty much had the same colors except for the upper was gray. But this is the uh alternate version. Really dope sneaker. Uh, this this shoe pays homage to uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Classic, classic TV show. I, I just love the '90s, man. I, I grew up in the '90s, and you know, you know, Fresh Prince was just a classic show. You know, a huge part of uh, hip hop culture back in the '90s. But this is a dope shoe, man. Really dope shoe. Alright. Here I have the uh, Air Jordan 5 Olympic Gold Medal. These released back in 2016. I had these for a while. Uh, this is my oldest five. This is the oldest five I have in my collection. And they're still holding up pretty good. And we got here the Air Jordan 5 Fire Reds. These released back in 2020. Now the, the shape on the Fire Red 5s is kind of kind of different from uh the rest of my fives. They actually uh run a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. I guess they were, uh, you know, it's, it's really true to the OG shape, I guess. Because uh, these, you know, they run a little bit, uh, a little bit smaller. But uh, I went true to size in my Jordan 5s. Uh, I wear a true size 9.5. But uh, sometimes I go up to a size 10. Because I, you know, I have uh, pinky toe issues sometimes. You know, my pinky toe might rub against the end of the shoe sometimes, and sometimes I'll go up to a size ten for you know a better feel, like you know more comfort. But uh, I usually stay true to size in Jordan fives. The Jordan five just fits so perfect. Like it has a nice snug fit, nice comfortable fit, and. There's no need to size up or size down. Like, just uh, go with your true size in Jordan 5s. But uh, very happy to have this shoe in the collection. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on feet so you guys stay tuned.
five burgundies. You guys feel free to leave a comment and tell me what you think of these. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more videos. We got more videos on the way. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Peace.